Coming to you live from my freezing garage. Welcome to the four, yeah, fourth ever episode of Alpha Mail where I open up all the mail that you guys have sent to me. Today is a bittersweet day because it's the day that I'm realizing you guys are sending me too much mail for me to be able to open all of it on camera. But I promise every single piece of mail that gets sent to me will be opened and read personally by myself, whether it makes it into the video or not. But enough talk, let's get into this. This first piece of mail is from Jared from Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh. Nice. I used to make these all the time when I was younger. I never made them this intricate though. It's a duct tape wallet, but there's like a million pouches. Even the main one has like two separate pouches. And it says property of Z not Alpha. Hey Eli, my name is Jared Ross and I am 16 years old, currently living in Raleigh, North Carolina. I decided to make you a wallet on my day off and decided that it was worthy of you. <laughs> we'll write soon again. This is sweet, dude. It's even got like a see-through part for like your IDs and stuff like that. Thanks, Jared. This next one's from Jared. Jacob Knox from Port Crane, New York, I think. Well, we have a tissue paper so far. <laughs> he made some kind of like a like a prop knife sort of. It's made of this uh, particle board stuff. I'm guessing this type of thing is either made for like just messing around or for like if you are doing a fight scene in a movie and you need a knife but you don't want to like accidentally kill somebody. I don't know, let's see what he says. Well, at least he has good handwriting. <laughs> Dear Zednot Alpha, my name is Jacob Knox. I am a huge fan and have been subscribed for about two years. You are one awesome person, and for you to read this would be a huge honor. I like to make weapons before I saw your channel, but when I did, it really motivated me to make more weapons. I've made your sheer fighting knives, zero dollar shield and hammer, PVC bow, throwing spear, and more. Jeez, he's been busy. I've made weapons on my own too, including a hunting knife I call Stanley, which I'm most proud of, and and many more. I'm thinking of getting a welder. I would like to hear from you if that's a good idea. I will be starting a YouTube channel called Merificus uh, 1017. Merificus is Latin for awesome. I would like to live. I, I would like to work with you, not live with you. I would like to work with you, but I live in upstate New York and you are in Illinois, so that would be hard. I guess I'll end the letter here because it's gotten long enough. Thanks for all the awesome and helpful videos, and I hope you keep it up. Sincerely, Jacob Knox. P.S. Sorry for the handwriting writing and grammar. I hope it was good enough for you to get the message. I also forgot, please have this wooden prop knife for Cubertown. Maybe too big, if so, sorry. Yeah, I'd say it's a little too big, even for Poncho, but thanks for the effort still. And in case you guys are wondering, Cubertown was this stop flash animation that I made a long, long, long time ago. Looking back on it, I don't think it was all that good. I feel like I'd be able to make something way, way, way better these days. So I mentioned in one of the previous alpha males, I think that I was thinking about making another Cubertown because in the last one you saw Jeffy and Banshee and Poncho and Knight, but I've got like a whole bunch more here that I've never even been able to do anything with because I didn't think anybody really cared. So I don't know, if you guys want to see another Cubertown, go ahead and leave a like on the video. I'm just kidding, you can leave a comment. If you hate promoting my channel that much, go ahead and just leave a comment. You don't have to leave a like. But leave a like if you can. This one's from California. Dear Eli, Polish name that I can't spell. I'm a big fan of your channel even though I've only recently stumbled upon it a couple of days ago. I went on a marathon of your videos starting from first one all the way to your last one. While I hate the fact that people can still see my first videos, I guess their views, so thanks. Your videos have inspired me to make a shield, a spear, and the PVC bow. I already have three bows, but I've always wanted to make my own, and you've shown me how. Thank you. No problem. Your videos have also inspired me to start thinking of making my own weapons and gadgets. I really hope you can make it as a professional YouTuber. Sincerely, Samuelson Maximus Aguirre pronounced Aguirre. That is quite a name you have there, sir. P.S. How did you get to know all of this stuff about weapons? What I know so far about weapons is from actually making the weapons, but if you actually look at all of my learned knowledge of weapons, I really don't know all that much about really anything. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have learned a whole bunch over the years, but as far as how did you get to know all of this stuff, like like I have this wealth of knowledge in my brain about weapons. It's really just from making them, handling them, and now I know a little something. This one has no name. Dear Zed Not Alpha, thank you for choosing to make YouTube videos. 
no problem. It gives me something to do. Also, a lot of projects. You inspired me to become a builder, and since I saw the grappling hook vid, I started to make it. Also, when is the testing vid coming out? I'm sorry guys, I'm really behind on mail. The testing video came out about a week ago, but I just haven't opened my mail in a while. I also want to make the knife, so that is it for this letter. I will send a package next time I send mail. Sincerely, can't say my name. <laughs> P.S. Sorry for the handwriting. He's also got something else. Ooh. He drew a pretty cool knife. Oh, my sister drew this because I'm not an artist. And the, here is free duct tape. Ooh, free duct tape. Very generous of you, sir. Thank you very much. This one's from Fort Collins, Colorado. He sealed this thing the heck up with this electrical tape. Well, it appears we have two X-Acto blades uh, taped to each other, so I'm kind of afraid to reach into this envelope any further. But I'm gonna rip this thing open and not risk my life. Oh, buddy, 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 buddy. Oh, man. Homie, I'm so glad that you're sending me mail, but this is some dangerous stuff. Like, I appreciate it, man, but if you guys are ever sending, like, weapons and stuff like that, please, like, package them in a way that it will be pretty much impossible for me to just, like, reach in and cut my hand open on. Alright, let's see what we got. For Eli. Dear Eli, I really like all your vids and tutorials. I really like the way you promote creativity and not copycats, so I made mini machetes, a battle axe, thingamabobber. Also, I made a little batarang thing. I'm I'm sorry if the glue is messy. It's pretty small and I used Gorilla Glue because I know you love it. I was so inspired by your videos, I'm trying to start a YouTube channel about mini weapons. Stay cool, Hiram. P.S. Can you tell me how long it took to get there? I sent this on September 8th. I actually don't know how long this took to get here because my P.O. box is like 50 minutes away by my old house. I moved to this new house, so I'm not able to go down there and get mail very often, so I can't really say how long it took, sorry. Yeah, this is pretty sweet, dude. Just like please be careful next time. This one's got a customs declaration, so it came from somewhere overseas, but I'm not really sure from where. Got some stickers or something. Whoa, what the heck? I don't even know what this is, but this is cool. Icon skiff. I don't even know what this is, but like this, like the style of these things is sweet. Bite-sized mash, sticker pack, replicate or die. Dude, this stuff is freaking cool. Is there a letter in here? There's no letter, I guess. This might just be some kind of like promotion for a like a sticker making business, coffinkiss.com. Yeah, I have no idea what the heck this is, but this is really cool either way. These are definitely the type of stickers you could just like throw on anything. Thank you, nameless person. Your stuff is cool, so I have no problem giving you a little promotion. Coffinkiss.com, I guess. This one is from somewhere in the Netherlands. Well, I'm rich so far. Got me a little Beatrix Conninger Netherlanden. This is worth 20 cents. We have a wooden thing, I think. What the heck? What is it? What? I don't know how this is done, but this is one of the coolest things that I've gotten on Alpha Males so far, no doubt. I can't tell if it's like ink or like it's burned in there, but just like the style of it is so cool. Like, what is it with my Zednots and all this style recently? Dear Zednot Alpha, I made this laser engraved wood art. Oh, okay. It's with a laser. Not like that makes it any less cool. This is still freaking sweet. I hope you like it, and sorry the sawing job is poop. I only had a hacksaw blade, only the sawing part. But I'm sure you can make it pretty if you want to. Watch out, the charred wood can rub off. I really enjoy your videos. Keep up the good work. They get better every time. From Milano from the Netherlands. This is the bomb, dude. Like, seriously, this is so cool. Thank you very much. All right, now we're on to packages. This one is from Short Hills, New Jersey. We got some what looks like maybe three eighth inch ball bearings and maybe some leftover toast or something. Let me take a second to talk to you guys. When you see my reactions, my... I'm not just doing this 
to make the video more interesting. How else am I supposed to react when I see something like this? This is like some next level Yorg Sprav type stuff. Like there's all this different wood like layered on top of each other. I don't know if it's actually different wood or just stained differently, but either way, this is like, like a lot of work went into this. Man, you guys are getting good. Dear Zednot Alpha, I'm currently 13 years old and I love your channel. Low key, I get kind of jealous when like, remember in the one alpha male video where the kid sent me that knife and he said he was 15 and, and then I get this and this kid is 13 years old. If I was on this level back when I made homemade weapons part one, like I was 14 at the time, I cannot imagine where I would be right now. Like this is some serious talent right here. All of your projects and creations are truly amazing. You've inspired me to make things that I never would have made otherwise. You have the best personality and all of your videos are entertaining to watch. Keep up the great work. I happen to run my own YouTube channel called The Slingshot King, so it only made sense for me to make a slingshot for you. Enclosed in this box is an oak slingshot with exotic wood laminations and aluminum pins, along with some steel balls for ammunition. I really hope you enjoy it. Sincerely, The Slingshot King. P.S. Just in case you didn't know, you hold the slingshot with your pointer finger and thumb around the grooves. I did not know. What? I shot it at my foam target and I was expecting it to like ricochet off and go all over the place, but it just went straight in. Lots and lots of fun will be had with this thing. Thank you very much, sir. $9 postage on this one. Somebody's serious about something. Organic vapor slash acid gas cartridge. Oh, like a like a filter for a mask. I thought this was like some kind of some kind of like chemical weapon or something. Sorry this took so long to get to you. Use it in good health. It's a HEPA filter and will also filter out nasty chemicals that you sometimes use too. If you have any questions, let me know. Keep up the great work, Jesse. You know, I actually remember I think I think it was on my scythe build video. A guy commented asking if he could buy me a respirator, and I guess he did. Man, this is like the legit one too. Sweet man, thanks. With this thing, I'll probably be able to make videos a few more years than I would have been able to without it. If you know what I'm saying. Like, like I'll die. All right, I have a feeling I know what this is. Some kind of magic scroll. Hello, Eli. Hi. I've been watching your videos for a while, and while I've wished I could make the stuff that you make, sadly I can't. I don't have the tools or space, let alone the skills. Just like you, I have a passion for weapons. I have over 50 weapons. That's actually a whole lot more than I have. <laughs> but out of all the weapons, the bow and arrow is easily my favorite. That's a pretty good choice. So naturally, I learned how to make my own arrows. In my opinion, it's a very apocalyptic style. So I made you some arrows. Sorry that the paint job is a bit sloppy. I'm not what you call an artist. From Connor Kenny. Not really. Got me, huh? <laughs> I have never shot arrows on anything more powerful, so if you use them on that bow you got from your viewer, you do it at your own risk. Also, anything you do with these arrows is not my fault, blah blah blah, you get the gist. No, dude, if I if I shoot a dog with this, I'm coming for you, man. You'll you'll be hearing from my lawyers. Looks good so far. Aw. Not all, like it's bad. They just, the fletchings got a little crushed in the mail, but like these are, these are really good. I'm sure they'll still fly perfectly fine. It'll just be a little more of like a wind resistance thing than like a, like a slicing through the air type of thing. But yeah, these are definitely a whole lot better than my uh, duct tape fletching arrows with like the nail on the front. These are sweet, dude. I'll definitely be using them in the very near future. And finally, the biggest kahuna of all the kahunas. Open this side. Definitely very unique packaging. I don't think I've ever received a triangular... Uh oh. I already see a spike. It appears we have some kind of machete with 
this cool design on it that reminds me a lot of the cups at Chipotle and a spike on the bottom to make sure if you're gonna chop anything you can very effectively stab yourself. Is there a letter in here? to Z Not Alpha from Ian Ingram. I just found this thing on the ground. I don't know if this came from this uh, sword package right here. So sorry if I'm giving the credit to somebody else. I really, really am sorry. But I could not find a letter inside that package. Dear Zednot Alpha, my name is Ian Ingram. I'm a huge fan of yours and have been watching your channel ever since your first video. Hmm. A few months ago, I decided to start my own YouTube channel. At first, I intended it to be simply a DIY channel, but my main point of view has shifted to weapons more since that's what I enjoy most. In this package is one of the very first melee weapons I've built for my channel, as most of my weapons have been projectile weapons. Although there are some obvious flaws in it and the lack of quality materials, I'm broke. I would love to hear what you think. My email is blah blah blah. If it isn't too much to ask, I would love it if you checked out my channel. Channel. It's just my name and or give me a shout out on your channel. Besides that, I love your channel. Not only do you put out great videos, but you're an inspiration for smaller weapon building channels like myself. I hope this thing isn't too much of a burden to keep because it's kind of big. Also, I hope you like my little doodle I did on it. I hope to hear from you. P.S. Sorry this letter is so long. And he just like doesn't even mention the fact that it's chopped in half. <laughs> well, if you're asking what I think about it, I think it is a very cool weapon. I do wonder where you got the blade from. It does kind of look like one of the Walmart machetes, but I'm not just gonna assume that's what it is. I heard a very real crunch just now. I'll not be doing that anymore. My word of advice though, as I kind of uh, said a little earlier, having dangerous parts coming out of the bottoms of handles seems like a really cool idea when you're first getting into making weapons because you figure it'll be like slice and then if somebody gets up too close you like bash them with that thing but this really just kind of puts yourself in danger because it is extremely easy to be going for a slice and to get yourself in the leg or be coming around here get yourself in the ribs just something to think about but if this is just for a display mostly then go ahead and do whatever the heck you want this would not be the worst display weapon that i've seen all right that's all i got for today i do have some other mail here but that's for the next alpha mail video if you guys like these alpha mail videos please leave a like on the video it helps my channel to grow and it also lets me know that you guys are actually enjoying these things if you want to send me some mail i'm gonna have to ask for your patience again i'm running into a whole bunch of trouble with opening the new p.o box but it's gonna happen really soon i promise but that's all i got for today so thank you guys very much for watching i'll talk to you later bye